Hi there, I'm Simon. In today's video, we're going to shine the light on wisdom on testing and replacing the blower thermostat on your LG dryer. If your dryer stubbornly refuses to run, no matter what you do or say, it might be time to check or replace this part. Before we get started, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more handy DIY appliance repair tips. Let's jump right in and get your dryer back in working order. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you to do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. For the job, we're going to need a flat blast screwdriver, a multimeter, a power tool with the Philips bead, and the vacuum cleaner. Also, please remember that safety comes first. Don't forget to unplug your dryer or turn the breakers off and also turn the gas off. The blower thermostat is a safety device designed to monitor the temperature inside the blower housing and to cut the power off to the motor and the ignition system when temperature exceeds the safe level. It's not resettable. The blower thermostat is mounted on the back of the blower housing next to the thermistor. The thermostat can be tested from the PCB. Take out three Phillips screws from the back of the dryer stop and slide it out. Locate the PCB housing at the top middle of the dryer. Remove two Phillips screws from the sides of the housing and then, using the flat blade screwdriver, release the side clips and open the PCB's cover. One of the best tools that you can have in your toolbox is a multimeter. And we would love to show you how this device works and how you can benefit from using it. Check out the video in the description. Get your multimeter set to continuity, Wi-Fi sign, locate the BL2 plug with a single yellow wire, disconnect it and insert one probe in the connection. Then find the yellow relay X2 and insert the second probe in the brown wire connection. If you read continuity, the belt switch is good, and so is the blower thermostat. They are both wired in line, so if there is no continuity, the belt switch or the blower thermostat goes in the junk. To determine who is the bad boy, we need to take the dryer apart. Move to the front and pull the water tank drawer on the left and remove the water tank. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press the locking tab up from underneath the drawer and take it out. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove two screws, one on each side of the drawer opening. Move to the right corner and remove one more Phillips screws from the back of the control panel. Disconnect control board plugs, pull on the top and remove the control panel. Open the door and remove four Phillips screws, two at the top and two at the bottom. Next, remove top Phillips screws that hold the front panel. Use a flat blade screwdriver to release the catch on the top right and tilt the front panel for about an inch. Disconnect the white and the pink plugs from the door switch and the light and remove the front panel. Remove four Phillips screws from the top of the front bracket and take the bracket away. Get down and disconnect the sensor plug on the right. Next step is to take out two Phillips screws on each side, lift up and remove the front bulkhead. I recommend wearing gloves for the next step. Don't get shy, get on your fore and reach under the drum from both sides. Push up the idler pulley and remove the belt of the motor pulley, pull on the belt and slide the drum out of the cabinet. You may clean the dryer. Using a vacuum cleaner, carefully not to break the igniter, clean the lint out. Get to the rear and clean the duct pipe. Get your multimeter set to continuity, then using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the white plug. Touch both terminals with the meter probes. If you read continuity, the thermostat is perfectly healthy. Open circuit, get a new blower thermostat. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove two screws and take out the thermostat. This is an old blower thermostat next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Install new blower thermostat, align the holes and secure it with two Phillips screws. Connect the white plug. Install the drum inside, make sure that the rear edge is on the three rollers. Place the gloves on and dive under the drum. Loop the belt over the idler pulley, push the idler pulley up and install the loop over the motor pulley. 
Slowly turn the drum one full turn manually to check the belt position. Bring and install the front ball cap. Make sure all support rollers are under the drum. Lock the front bulkhead into four pilot holes on the sides and secure the bulkhead with the four Phillips screws. Install the top front bracket. Lock in the side hooks and secure everything with four Phillips screws, the longer ones on the sides of the cabinet. Get down and connect the sensor plug on the right. Bring the front panel, install it on the bottom hinges, tilt it forward, Reconnect the white and the pink plugs using the flat bed screwdriver. Lift the catch on the right upper corner and secure the front panel with four Phillips screws. Open the door and install two Phillips screws at the bottom and two Phillips screws at the top. Mount the control panel. Install two Phillips screws on the sides of the dispenser drawer opening and one more from back in the right corner. Connect all the plugs. Install the top panel push it forward to lock and secure with three Phillips screws from the back. Install the water tank drawer in. Lift the tab with the flat dress screwdriver and push it in. Place the water tank inside the drawer and slide the drawer in. Plug the drawer in and don't forget to open the gas. Great job tackling that lower thermostat replacement. We hope everything went smoothly and that your dryer is now back in action. We would love to hear about your repair experience. Feel free to share it in the comments below. If you need any additional parts, just grab your model number and visit appliancepartspros.com. Most orders will arrive within a couple of days, making it easier to find exactly what you need quickly. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next DIY project.